In this video, we will go from gross to free operating cash flow. This is done in three steps. Step number one, we take 450 of gross cash flow from our previous video. Step two, we deduct all investments. Key is that you understand that all investments in the business are called CAPEX, capital expenditures. And CAPEX are deducted from the gross cash flow. Let's have a closer look at step number two and how we calculate the CAPEX. We take the invested capital and all of the investments in the operational assets at the start of the year. Since we also need to have this statement at the end of the year, we ask our controller for this information. And then we get something like this. Now, in order to calculate the CAPEX, we look at the difference between the operational assets at the end of the year and at the start of the year. The difference is the level of capital we invested in the operations during this specific period. Now, it's time to break down the CAPEX. Step 2a. Starting with investments in tangible fixed assets. We can see that our tangibles have increased from 2000 to 2200. This difference is the result of a piece of land that we purchased for 200. In order to get to the total investments in tangibles, we need to correct this amount for the depreciation of 100. As said earlier, depreciation is not an expense, but a reduction of the value of the assets over time. And therefore, we actually have invested 100 more than the difference in tangibles shows us. In sum, we've invested 200 in a piece of land, plus 100 correction for depreciation. That gives us a total sum of 300. So, 300 goes to CAPEX. Step 2b. Let's have a look at intangible assets. The assets have not changed in value. It was reported for 10 at the start of the year and at the end of the year. That means that we've invested nothing here. Zero goes to CAPEX. Step 2c. Financial assets have increased from 1000 to 1050 due to an additional loan in cash that we provided to one of our clients. This is considered an investment of 50 and goes to CAPEX. Step 2D, working capital. Our working capital has increased from 3000 to 3050. This is the result of an investment in an inventory of additional shoes. So 50 goes to CAPEX. Now it is time to look at our total CAPEX. Let's sum it up. 300 tangibles, 0 intangibles, 50 financial assets and 50 working capital. That gives us a total CAPEX of 400. Step number 3. Let's have a look at how it all comes together. In order to calculate the free operating cash flow, we take the gross operating cash flow of 450 and deduct the 400 of CAPEX leaving us with a net operating cash flow of 50. What does this mean? This means that the gross cash flow of 450 is strong enough to carry the capex of 400. And that there is 50 of cash left. The 50 can be given back to investors on the right hand side. Or we can use it and put it as savings on our bank account on the left hand side. Whether 50 of free operating cash flow is enough for the company, that is something we will discuss in next class.